Hi everyone, Scott with Cyberscribe.org and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up an NFS file server so you can uh, basically have a share on one of your Linux machines and uh, remote machines can connect to it and access those files. So uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to set up the client first because it's real easy to do. There's really only two things you need to do. First thing is you need to create a uh, an empty folder that you're going to be mounting that share to. So for here, for me, you can see uh, slash mnt slash public. That is the folder that I'm going to be using uh, to mount. Next thing, we need to open up the firewall uh, to allow NFS through. It's not open by default, so you need to do that yourself. If you don't, on either of the machines, you're not going to be able to connect. So I uh, have system config firewall, and I'm just going to do it that way. Uh, there's other ways you can do it, but this way is pretty easy, and you'll see why right now. Okay, there you go, done. All right, so uh, that's why I kind of like system config firewall. It's pretty easy to do, pretty quick. We need to do the same thing on the server, so we'll just do that first, just so you remember that you uh, that's out of the way. And all you're doing is just selecting NFS4. Okay, we're gonna close that, get out of that, and save it. Okay, next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a uh, a directory, a public directory. So we're going to say make dir home public, right? And let's just cd home ls. Okay, so public, our public directory is there. It is up and running. Next thing we need to do is let's just make a couple files in there. So I'm just going to say well, public get there and then touch one, two, three, four, five. And let's just add something. Let's say cat. Uh, one and this is one and then cat two this is two you see the uh, double greater than sign that's going to append and the uh, single greater than sign is going to just it would rewrite everything in the file okay uh, that's you know you don't need to know that for this but it is kind of useful so we uh, have a couple things and we have a couple things in each file so we can kind of test those and see how it works. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Etsy exports and this is where we're going to determine what is going to be shared and where it's going to be shared. Okay, first is what? Home and it's going to be public. Then we put the network address or you can put your uh, uh, domain name if that's what you're using and slash 24. No spaces between any of this stuff, just be aware of that. Okay, RW, read write, and I'm going to allow it to sync. So that means that uh, it's not going to allow uh, mo like the same file to be open simultaneously in multiple places. You're going to have to wait until that's closed in one. So it's kind of so the file is the same file all the time. It's not going to be, uh, you know, you're not going to have multiple versions of. Of the same file because people are editing them and saving at the same time. That's what sync is all about. We're going to go exit WQ. All right. Next thing we're going to do is go service NFS start. Okay. And uh, that Etsy exports file, if I had uh, a couple uh, uh, syntax errors or something, when I went to start the NFS service, it would give me those errors. Uh, it would tell you that something was wrong. So uh, we're good to go. There's no errors there. Next thing we need to do is export. FS, export the file system, and when it works correctly, you'll see that it has been exported like that. Okay, so uh, now what we should be able to do is let's go onto the web server and see if we can mount that. Uh, that's how you basically connect the share. So we're going to go mount 172.20.0.30, that's the IP address of the file server system, and the directory is home public, right? And we're going to mount that to mnt slash public. If it works, it should sh uh, show up right away, and it does. Uh, if your firewall is not open, that w it wouldn't come up that fast. It would it wouldn't even it would take a while, and you'd know something was wrong. So it's pretty clear. Uh, but let's go into. See, we're still in uh, there. So let's go cd back back ls. Okay, let's go to public ls. One, two, three, four, five. You see that? But let's do an ls dash l right there. Okay, so you see that root is the uh, root is the owner, 
but that's root on the other system. So we're not going to be able to really make any changes. So we can, let's uh, cat one, and we can do that, but let's go and try to cat and append to one and see that permission denied. Okay, so one of the things that can be challenging with NFS is the permissions because you're looking at the permission from the server and uh, even if you're root it's not going to work. Like if I want to ch uh, try to chamad and say uh, uh, let's say 7771 not going to allow it. Okay, so uh, that's you know one of the challenges is uh, you have to be aware with the permissions. So let's uh, exit or not exit uh, let's uh, CD back back and uh, then let's go you mount I'm going to show you one way to get around that and it's probably not the best way but it's still a uh, it's still a way so right now we have uh, we have everything up and running and uh, I'm just going to show you one more thing so we're going to say you mount MNT public all right so we're going to mount it again but we're going to make a change over here uh, first so let's go and go via Etsy exports. All right. One thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add no root squash. Okay. What that's going to mean is that uh, on client machines, on remote machines, I'm going to be able to change the permissions of each file. Okay. So uh, this is probably like a convenient thing to do. Is it good security-wise? No, it's not. But uh, just you know giving you some options here so I'm gonna save that and let's uh, start it again or let's go service NFS reload okay reload that configuration file export FS just to be safe and now let's go back and let's mount again and let's see if we can change those permissions so let's go and just go up a couple times a couple more times there we go Okay, mounted, good to go. Let's go into public and let's ls, ls l. All right, and let's go chmod 7771. Okay, ls l. And you can do that. The reason why we can do that is because I put that no root squash in the Etsy exports file right there. So uh, just be aware of that. Like I said, permissions with NFS are probably going to be the thing that trips you up a little bit uh, because client machines can be creating folders and, uh, or, well, folders and files and all that stuff. And permissions, be aware. Permissions are going to be the thing that uh, might be a little challenging when you're working with NFS. So uh, just showed you a couple ways maybe to get around that if you really wanted. But uh, that's it. So that's all I had for you this video, and stay tuned for future videos.